hey what's up everyone welcome to jeff cowboy youtube channel and on today's car tutorial video guys as you can see i'm getting my package delivered right here on my doorstep i bought this used car online just like you would buy an amazon package and get it delivered right on my doorstep so look if you are buying a used car for the first time or you're considering buying a used car for the first time I want you to watch this video out of it because it's gonna have ton of information for those who are buying a used car for the first time and as you can see it's not like in a perfect condition but it was a great deal so and it also make it a perfect uh, vehicle to do this video uh, it's going to be my first project car I'm gonna be working on it it's a Mazda 6 2005 a uh, very reliable uh, car so quick question for you could you risk buying a used car online and have it delivered right on your doorstep just like you would buy an amazon package and get delivered right on your doorstep we never did any physical inspection or anything you just did everything online and have it delivered would you risk that let me know what you think on the comment section there and we will have a conversation all right so another question I know even myself I'm asking myself does this vehicle start I know you're asking what the condition of this vehicle and don't worry we'll go be going through uh, step by step everything and as you can see uh, the keys are hung right here by the steering wheel so let's find out if this vehicle is going to start up does the engine run um, when I was doing the auction uh, the online auction uh, they say it start it can start but we'll find out something to note here when you're inspecting a used car especially the interior on the seats uh, the carpet and the headliner you want to inspect for the tones and the tears on the seats on the carpet uh, or excessive stains that will be tough to come out and on this car here right here uh, everything was good I want to say uh, it's a fair condition uh, some of the seats were dirty but it's easy to come off so that's what you want to focus on when you're inspecting carpet seats and the headliner now when you buy a used car before you start the engine there is two important things that you need to check under the hood so we need to pop up the hood and check these two important things this is very critical when you're buying a used car one more thing to note here on the driver's side right here on the front of the screen make sure you verify the VIN number this is VIN number or vehicle identification number make sure it is matching with the documents of the vehicle and this here is just the auction sticker showing details of the vehicle to the buyers and nothing much so this one here is one of the damage uh, that came with the vehicle that I'm gonna be fixing I knew this even before I bought the vehicle because I could see it I could see the pictures are online it got a little dent right here on the fender and another one on the rear and this one also uh, allow me to share another tip here when you're inspecting a used car that you're about to buy make sure you assess the whole body of the vehicle make sure you assess the dents because some of these dents can be very expensive to fix now uh, trying to line them up painting and all that it can be expensive but again depend with what kind of a deal you're getting but it's good to assess the whole body of the vehicle before you start negotiating the price so for this Mazda 6 other than the passenger side those few dents the whole exterior body uh, everything to me look in good shape with the kind of deal that I got for this vehicle I think I am good to go and here is under the hood so this is also a critical area you want to check for the leaks um, also in good to check all the fluids and here you check several fluid but like I said before you start the aging there are two important things 
that you need to check very critical and one of them is the engine oil so using the engine dipstick you want to check three things one the presence of engine oil two you want to check the level of the engine oil and number three you want to check the condition of that engine oil so if it's too dark that means that oil is too is too dirty and need to be changed if it's look like a meal cage, it need to be flushed because it might be mixing with water another critical thing you need to check before you start the engine is the presence of coolant you can check the coolant by taking off the cap of the radiator or you can check using the overflow bottle one thing you need to note do not ever open the radiator cap when the engine is hot you can cause a severe burn now after confirming the presence of the engine oil and the coolant now i can comfortably start off the engine without worrying of the engine damage uh, that will occur in case you start an engine without coolant or the engine oil now the moment of truth so at least with that sound it indicates that we got power from the battery all the uh, lights are present and the moment of truth the engine is now up and running that is so satisfying I'm super excited this engine is up and running I don't have to worry about the engine uh, other than right here I got a check engine light and yeah, that's parking brakes the vehicle has 180,000 miles so later on I'll go I'm going to use um, a code reader and find out about that check engine light but uh, other than that I think I also changed the oil, the engine oil but the engine uh, that sound it feels okay with me but I know it's gonna run even more smooth once we change the fluids uh, change the filters so just a startup that is satisfying other things I'm gonna check here is that uh, the brakes I'm gonna take off the tires and check the brakes when you're inspecting a used vehicle make sure you also check the brakes check the tires especially the tire threads when you're checking the front tires one of the best tricks is turn the, the wheel outwards that way you have a better view on the tires just like this and here i think um, i'll be okay with these tires even though in the near future i will need to change those tires but for now i'm not worried about those tires they should be able to move me the next few miles so far so good and here testing the transmission shifter and it's shifting okay i'm not gonna be driving i'm just trying to test if this everything is shifting smoothly and i think uh, everything is okay here it can it's moving from parking reverse uh drive so far so good once i got uh, all the paperwork i'm gonna be taking the vehicle on the road for road test uh, other things you want to check uh, when you're buying a used vehicle is make sure you check the lights so here i got the parking lights on the hazard are working uh, the low beam lights uh, seems like the one on the driver side is not working so one bulb right there is burned out which is an easy fix uh, the rear lights they are all working perfectly 
all the signals are working make sure you also test the, the license spread light lightings the reverse right all those are critical important things that you need to check checking the high beam as well and the high beam are working on this Mazda 6 so pretty much uh, when it comes to the lights it's only the uh, the low beam on the driver's side that I need to check most likely change a bulb and that's it so other few things checking mm -hmm. in here the wiper uh, the wiper flashers checking if the wiper fluids uh, motor is working and everything so far so good i'm satisfied other major critical things you need to check uh the windows are rolling this is also an area that most of the time we forget to check make sure all the windows they go up and down check whether the doors are locking unlocking so just making sure all those buttons are doing what they were meant to do on a car so also don't forget to check the air condition all those buttons make sure they got heat in the car or cold when you need it so more videos will be coming up from this car so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't subscribed next video will be coming up soon